before your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description, and if you use the code CHES, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with episode number 12 of the interactive Road to Division 1. This is of course the series where you guys choose the teams that we play with, heading through the ranked divisions, trying to get to Division 1 on head-to-head. -head. Now before we get uh, really into this episode, I just want to say thank you to you guys, because this series doesn't get anywhere near the views or likes of the career mode series, but you do still show it a lot of support in the comments with loads of suggestions. So I just want to say a big thank you for that. You know, it doesn't go unnoticed, and the support you show this series, despite it not being the most popular uh, really is appreciated because I enjoy making it and I'm not going to stop even if it isn't as successful as uh, any of the other series on my channel I just want to say thank you to guys for showing it the support that you do and actually there were loads of suggestions for Vitesse Arnhem in this episode coming from Dan Fitzpatrick Ahmed Madafra Mr Fifi M Mr Fifi Mr Fifa 14 uh, Bryce Henry Lewis Bevan Fergus Campbell WWE Dude Mario Liam Fitzpatrick Mark Hendricks Josh Maz John Smith Miss Minister Owl and Daniel Stocks Wowzers. Now, well, that was, as you can tell, probably the most uh, the most popular decision in the comment section of the previous video. So we're trying to use the uh, the Dutch side here. They've got a couple of Chelsea players on loan, of course, Atsu, Christian Atsu, Lucas Piazzon, and uh, Patrick van Aanholt, the uh, the main three, although there is Bertrand Traore there as well. And I'm not sure whether Torgan Hazard's there as well. I uh, I may be mistaken in thinking that, though. But we uh, it was a really dull game, to be completely honest. Coming up against the United States men's national team. A team that we did very, very well with a couple of episodes ago. But we were only able to draw 1-1 uh, in this one. And there weren't that many chances whatsoever. As you can see, the entire game. He only had two, one of which on target, which was his goal. And I only had four. It was just a really, really dull game. So, unfortunately, that wasn't too exciting. But in the previous episode, if you remember, with both Manchester sides... We struggled against Real Madrid. And uh, Ian Carney said in his comment, if you can't beat them, be them. So we are going to be Real Madrid in this one. The suggestion comes in from Ian Carney and Eric Hoff. And a guy whose username is NTBSURD. Not I don't know whether that's a word in uh, your language, but uh, it's not a word in my language, so I'm not going to try and pronounce it. But... Um, yeah, we're coming up against Bayern Munich in this one. A team that are very, very good. Of course, it's fortunate or uh, it's, you know, pleasing not actually to come up against Real Madrid, playing with Real Madrid, because I was a little bit cautious of that happening. Because you get people all the time. You just, whenever you use a five-star team, you just get paired with Real Madrid. It happens all the time. Fortunately, in this one, we got paired with Bayern Munich, but unfortunately, they have Manuel Neuer at the back and Mario Mandzukic up top, as you can see, put them 1-0 up. Now, Robin and Ribery weren't that much of a problem for me in this game. My main problem in this this game was the guy in goal, Manuel Neuer. He made save after save after save for this guy. You'll be able to see it throughout the uh, the course of the highlights. But uh, we're actually almost going to go one 0 up here. He brings the keeper out. Benzema just can't get the turn on him to be able to slot it into the back of the net. So we are going to get ourselves back on level terms here. Benzema gets a lucky rebound back off the defender. Isco makes a lovely run through, darting run from the uh, from the back of the midfield. And it's a wonderful finish with his left foot, weak foot, up into that top right-hand corner, off the bar into the back of the net. And we're back on level terms after half an hour. Now, I do like playing with Isco, actually, but it's just a shame that he's only got three-star skill moves. Because if he had four, I think he'd be so much more effective. But it's a great darting run. And we'll definitely see a couple of replays of that effort because that was so good. He hit it so true. There's barely any movement in the ball whatsoever. Neuer rooted to the spot. Fortunately, this time, he doesn't make a save. But uh, he was going to thwart me again here. Luka Modric, lovely shot from distance. That's destined for the top corner. And it's only another save from the German goalkeeper up to his top left-hand side. Lovely acrobatic save. That keeps me at bay. And you'll be able to see from the stats that are going to come up on your screen that uh, we were most definitely on top in that first half. Seven shots, six on target, one goal. And, of course, his only shot was his goal that uh, Mario Mandzukic headed in early on in the game. But Isco plays a lovely ball over the top to Benzema. Nice tidy turn inside the defender and slots it away. Again, Neuer, absolutely no chance, not even bothering to dive. He knows he's beaten when he is, in fact, beaten. And uh, Karim Benzema puts us 2-1 up just inside the second half. He was going to get off to, uh, or, you know, he didn't have that many chances in the first half. But the second half, just his second shot, of course, he scores it, as uh, as you may expect. Thomas Muller, he's pretty good in the air and absolutely dominates Carvajal at the back post. So uh, we're back to 2-2 after an hour. So I made a couple of changes. Brought on Di Maria for uh, for Isco and brought on Yaramendi for Chabi Lons, who was very, very tired in that holding role. I was playing a 4-1-4-1, which was the, the default formation for Real Madrid uh, this particular week with the kickoff engine. And uh, it actually performed pretty well. Sergio Ramos coming close there with another good save from Manuel Neuer. We're going to have kind of a spate of uh, different chances here. 
all in the same clip from uh, from corners. Di Maria is going to whip the ball in. Sergio Ramos is going to go up again. It gets uh, gets cleared almost. It comes to Gareth Bale looking for that bottom corner, and again Manuel Neuer springs clear to make a decent save. Going to have a third corner. Di Maria is going to whip the ball in. Up goes Pepe this time. It's on target, but it's straight at the goalkeeper. No acrobatic super save to uh, to make there. It's just a simple one. It catches it with both hands. But Yaramendi breaks free. 93rd minute. Again, Manuel Neuer makes the save to keep us at bay. Di Maria is breaking into the box. Another strike. Manuel Neuer is there again. Yaramendi's up, but he's offside. The chance goes a begging, and the game finishes at 2-2. So from the opening two games, we do take two points, unfortunately. It would have been nice to take four at the very, very least, especially when you see... Oh, I didn't show the stats. I forgot. I do apologise. The, uh, the stats from that game, I had 18 shots, 16 on target two goals. Uh, that's my mistake in the editing. I do apologise for that. But the third game, we're playing with the German national team, a five-star team. And who do we come up against? Real Madrid. Now, can we get some payback here? I, I may call the uh, the episode Real or Real Payback. This suggestion comes in from 12 a and Oates and Brandon Borussia, the German national team. We're actually going to get off to a great start. Philip Lahm of all players popping up from right back with, uh, with a cheeky header inside the uh, inside the opening 25 minutes or so. But he was just going to run straight up the other end. Karim Benzema cuts inside. Decent first effort. Manuel Neuer makes a good save. But he's not OP for me. Of course he's not OP for me. That was a simple second save. It was right next to him. And he decided to dive over it. Gareth Bale puts him back on level terms. And then just a few minutes later, in comes the ball. Decent header clear. Drops to Di Maria on the edge of the box. Shrugs off one challenge. Puts it into the bottom corner. And we're 2-1 down. I was like, right, no, I'm not having any of this. I am so sick and tired of being dominated by Real Madrid. And then when I play with them, having just Manuel Neuer completely write me off and still not being able to do that well with them. So I just changed it all up. We got a little bit of age for our uh, our first equaliser here. Second equaliser, rather. And uh, Thomas Muller just rifles the ball into the back of the net after just kind of squeezing it out from beside Marcelo. And we were going to be able to go into half-time at 3-2 up. Lovely header from Thomas Muller. Scored against us with a header for Bayern Munich in the previous game. Proving that he is just as good in the air as uh, as we thought. Proving that he wasn't a one-off in the first game. And so we go in at half-time with that 3-2 lead. But Mesut Ozil is going to race away in the 73rd minute to put us 4-2 up. Really extend the gap. It's a lovely finish. Doesn't have that much pace, but he's just fast enough to get away from the defenders. Have the space that he needs to put the ball into the back of the net. A player that does have pace is Sidney Sam. I brought him off the bench to uh, to great effect here, putting us 5-2 up, effectively putting the game completely out of reach for the opposition into the 78th minute. And then we we're actually going to get a sixth just a few minutes later. Mesut Ozil has uh, tackled on the edge of the box. Falls to Sidney Sam, a trickler of a shot. Just creeps into the back of the net. Perhaps we were fortunate that it fell to him in the first place. But that brought the rage quit. I, uh, he, the guy just didn't want to play out the last few minutes conceding three goals in the space of like 16 in-game mins so uh, he quit we take the three points so we take five points from this episode so we're still unbeaten so far in Division 6 actually no that might be a lie we lost with Man City didn't we against Real Madrid so we've only lost one so far in Division 6 uh, three wins two draws one defeat 11 points from the opening six games now we need five for promotion and eight for the title with four games left so which team shall we use to try and get those points and get ourselves up into Division 5 let me know with a comment down below and uh, I will do my best to try and pick the ones that you guys want to see. So that's the end of this video guys. Please feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That'd be absolutely superb. If you aren't subscribed to the channel already feel free to do so. There'll be an annotation on screen over the right hand fist there and in the description. If you don't follow me on Twitter there's a link to that in the description as well at Chesnoy Gaming. And if you missed the previous episode there's an annotation on screen over that left hand fist there to take you to that video. So thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time.